Agriculture Forestry and Other Land Use Carbon Calculator, or AFALU Carbon Calculator, is an online, easy-to-use platform designed to give USAID missions and implementing partners a way to estimate and report the carbon impacts of a range of land use activities. Using sound and transparent scientific methods, the calculator produces yearly estimates of carbon impacts by combining basic user inputs with built-in data. This video will introduce and explain what users need to know to use the AFALU Carbon Calculator. We'll cover the user structure of the calculator, its scope, how to create projects, how to add activities to projects, how to estimate carbon impacts of activities, how to generate a project report, how to submit a project report directly to USAID, and finally, how to create or join a group to share projects. To use the AFALU Carbon Calculator, first you'll need to create a username and password. Your unique profile will then be created allowing you to save and store your work as well as report results to USAID. After logging in, a dashboard will appear displaying your profile, projects, reports, and groups. Throughout the calculator, there are a number of features to turn to for guidance. The gray boxes on the left side of every page provide instructions and can help you navigate through the website. Clicking the Show Me Around button launches a quick tour of the features on the webpage you are viewing. In addition, the calculator offers a number of guidance resources under the Support tab, including the User Manual, Frequently Asked Questions, and a series of video tutorials like this one. The AFALU Carbon Calculator is organized in a self-regulating system of users, projects, and groups. Users create projects and then add activities to the projects to estimate carbon impacts. Users may also choose to share their project with other users by creating or joining a group. The AFALU Carbon Calculator offers specific tools to estimate the greenhouse gas impacts of a range of land use activities, including forest protection, forest management, afforestation or reforestation, agroforestry, cropland management, grazing land management, and forest degradation by fuel wood You can create a project either from the dashboard or by clicking the Projects tab and finding the Add Project button. When creating a project, you are given the option to choose whether or not its carbon impacts will be reported to USAID. You also have the option to share it with other users by using the Group feature. More on the Groups feature will be covered later on in this tutorial. You may also add a short description of the project. Once the project is saved, you are redirected to the Project Overview page. Now we can add an activity to the project by clicking the Add Activity button under the Activities tab. After giving the activity a name, Choose what type of activity it is by selecting from the drop-down menu. Now enter where the activity is taking place. The AFALU Carbon Calculator is organized by subnational units. These subnational units reflect typical political boundaries such as provinces, states, or districts. Each subnational unit has a unique set of default values assigned to it allowing the calculator to produce accurate and geographically specific estimates of carbon impacts of defined project activities. To select which subnational unit your activity takes place in, you can either navigate to it on the map and select it, or simply type or select the subnational unit from the drop-down menu, then enter the total area the activity takes place on. If the activity is located in more than one subnational unit, add another by clicking the Add Subnational Unit button. Divide the total area of the activity between the selected subnational units. 
This can be done by dividing the total area up as a fraction or entering the area per subnational unit in hectares. The values entered must add up to the total area entered above. On this page, you'll need to enter a little more information about the activity. To estimate the activity's carbon impacts, you only need to enter some basic information in the required inputs fields. The calculator will match this information with its default database to produce a valid estimate of the impacts from this activity. In many of the AFLU carbon calculator's tools, users only need to enter some very basic information about the activity and assign an effectiveness rating by answering a set of basic questions about its implementation and management. To generate an effectiveness rating, simply click the Guide button and answer the questions presented about the activity's management and implementation status. The resulting effectiveness rating is an estimate, as a percent, of the overall effectiveness the activity has had in generating carbon impacts. The effectiveness rating impacts the final amount of estimated carbon benefits. You may choose to override the effectiveness rating estimated by the calculator, but you must provide a justification. While benefits can be calculated without entering information in the fields listed under Advanced Inputs, users can choose to override the defaults shown in these fields by entering their own data. These user-supplied data should be representative of the activity and either generated using scientifically sound methods or come from reliable, peer-reviewed sources. These defaults can always be reset by going to the bottom of the page and clicking the Reset Defaults button. Now click Calculate. A box will pop up with the estimated annual greenhouse gas benefits in carbon dioxide equivalents. If a message box appears saying Input Error, check to ensure that all required inputs are complete and then click Calculate again. If a message box appears saying the calculator has no default data for the subnational unit selected, you will need to enter data into missing fields under Advanced Inputs to estimate the activity's benefits. At this point, inputs can be adjusted or the activity can be saved. Your inputs can always be edited at a later time. This screen displays the activity's annual benefits as well as cumulative benefits for up to 30 years into the future. When you're satisfied with the results, go back to the main project page by clicking the Project Overview button. On this page, you can review project and activity information, as well as submit the project as a report to USAID. To review activities and add more, click the Activities tab. The Graphs tab displays project information and a variety of charts and tables that summarize the benefits estimated. To view a downloadable, printable PDF summary of the project and all activity inputs, click the Preview Report button on the main Project Overview page. A new window will open displaying the project report. This report shows the inputs for all activities added to the project as well as their benefits. The report lists all parameters used to calculate activity benefits and indicates which values came from the calculator's default database with an asterisk. To submit project results and information directly to USAID, simply click the Submit Report button. A pop-up box will appear asking you to confirm that the report is ready to be submitted. There is also a place where you can enter the email addresses of those whom you wish to send an email confirmation that the report has been submitted. In cases where a project must be edited after submission, the calculator allows reports to be resubmitted. However, users should keep an original version of the submitted project and create a duplicate of the original project by clicking the Clone Project button. The Clone Project feature creates an exact copy of the project that you can edit and resubmit. This way, the original version of the project is maintained and can always be referenced. The Clone Project feature can also be used if you need to report on a project over several years. 
Every time you need to report on the project, simply clone the report from the last year and change the title to reflect the current reporting year. This saves time as you don't have to re-enter data that remains the same over reporting period and ensures consistency. The Calculators Group feature is optional but may be useful in cases where multiple projects are connected under a larger program. This groups feature allows users to share projects with a group so that other group members can view and edit projects collectively. You can request to join or create a group at any time by going to the Groups tab When you create a new group, you can invite other users to join by selecting their usernames from the drop-down menu. While group members may also invite users to join, only group owners have the authority to approve or delete memberships. Project information can always be edited, so you can add or remove a project from a group at any time. More guidance can be found under the Support tab, where you'll find the User Manual, a series of video tutorials like this one, developed for each of the Carbon Calculator's tools, as well as frequently asked questions and an interactive forum. For more video tutorials like this, click on the links below.